Welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will explore how to use Aussie and Edge function with rate limit and penalty, along with upstash DB, to enhance the performance and security of your APIs. Let's get started. First, let's check some concepts. Edge function. Aussie and Edge function is a powerful feature offered by Aussie. It allows you to run custom code at the edge of the network, closer to your users, improving performance and security. With Aussie and Edge function, you can execute code directly on Aussie's global network of edge nodes, reducing latency and enhancing user experience. Rate limiting. Rate limiting is a method of controlling network traffic by limiting the number of times a specific action can be performed within a given time period. It helps prevent abuse, protect resources, and ensure fair usage. Aussie and Edge function provides a flexible and customizable rate limiting feature that allows you to set specific limits on a PS requests. Rate limiting with penalty. Aussie and Edge function's rate limiting feature goes beyond just limiting requests. It also includes a penalty mechanism, which penalizes the last request in a burst with a delay. This helps discourage abusive behavior and ensures fair usage of your APIs. Integration with Upstash DB. Upstash DB is a fully managed serverless database that provides a simple and scalable solution for storing and retrieving data. By integrating Aussie and Edge functions rate limiting with penalty feature with Upstash DB, you can enhance your API as security and manage rate limits effectively. To begin using Aussie and Edge platform and all the available products, you need to complete the sign-up process and log into the configuration interface, Real-Time Manager, the RTM. Once you've logged into your account, you will be redirected to the RTM homepage. So, let's build a function from scratch. Building an Edge application is the first step to start using Asian Edge platform. In the Edge application name text box, fill with a unique new name. This name doesn't affect how end users access your application, and you can change it at any time. A relevant Edge application name makes your management easier. Then, choose an option to start. And let's choose Fetch Content from Origin. It creates an Edge application and configures an origin. ASEAN fetches your content directly from there and honor cache control headers returned. On address, insert the web server that you want ASEAN to fetch your content from. Click on Next to save your settings and you will be redirected to the main page. Now we can manage our Edge application. On the Edge Applications page, select your application. Enable the Edge Functions module that lets you run single-purpose functions closer to the viewer to customize the content that your Edge application deliver. Click on the Save button to save your settings. Now, on the Products menu, choose Edge Firewall and click on the Add Rule Set button. On the next page, insert a name. ASEAN Edge Firewall is a security product that protects your servers and applications from the network layer to the application layer. With Edge Firewall, you can configure protection against all types of threats and attacks, all in a single place. On Domain Settings, select the domains that you want to protect with this rule set. On the Edge Firewall modules, enable the Edge Function switch. This module runs security-oriented functions at the edge of the network, closer to your users. Don't forget to save your settings. Now, let's click on the Functions tab to enable serverless functions to be added to your firewall configurations. Click on the Add Function button, and on the next page, insert an instance name, and select a function from the drop-down list. Edge functions are functions that run on the edge of the network, close to users. They can help you secure your applications through Edge Firewall. Now, let's click on the Rules Engine tab. On the next page, click on the New Rule button and you will be redirected to the Rules Engine configuration. First, insert a name for your new rule. Next, configure the criteria that will be applied. Select a variable from the list, the operator, and, if prompted, enter one comparison string per line. You can use regular expressions with the matches or does not match operators. Set the behavior to run function and select the function you want to run. Select a behavior and all required information, if prompted. Some actions cannot be used together or in some conditions and will be automatically disabled. Don't forget to save your settings. Note that it might take a while for your changes to propagate. With this configuration, any API request that matches the specified condition will be subject to rate limiting. If the rate limit is exceeded, the system will respond with an HTTP 429 status code, penalizing the last request for a burst with a delay. By combining ASI and Edge function with rate limit and penalty and upstash DB, you can ensure the security and performance of your APIs at the edge of the network.
In this video, we discussed Ozzie and Edge Function's rate limiting feature with penalty, along with integration with Upstash DB. By implementing this feature, you can effectively control and manage the rate of a PI requests, ensuring fair usage and enhancing security. If you found this video useful, please like, subscribe, and share. And for more in depth information, consult the ASEAN documentation. Thank you for watching and move to the edge.